In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Heaven is open to us. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed. Genesis 28 verses 11 and 12. Jacob was afflicted because he had made a mistake in his life. He was cast down to the very depths. Alone, weary, dispirited, tortured by the recollections of his past errors and overwhelmed with apprehensions for the future, he laid him down to rest, his head pillowed upon a stone. Had Jacob's conscience been clear, his heart would have been strong in God. But he knew his present perplexities, his fears and trials were in consequence of his sins. This reflection is what embittered his life. Jacob was repentant, yet he did not feel easy under the wrong he had done. Through tribulation and through physical and mental suffering, he could only have hoped to find his way again to the favor of God. He lay down in sadness with a heavy heart, repenting and yet fearing. He expected that new trials would meet him on the morrow as he pursued his weary way. There was no friend nigh to speak a comforting word to Jacob, no one to tell him he had in his sincere repentance done what he could. But God's eye was upon his servant. He sent his angels to reveal to him a ladder of brightness reaching from the earth to the highest heavens, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon this glorious ladder which showed Jacob the connection and intercourse constantly going on between the two worlds. When Jacob awoke, his difficulties had not vanished entirely. But he had such confidence in God that he was comforted. In humble gratitude of heart, he adores his Savior and especially honors even his stony pillow. Oh, the wonderful condescension of God! He is ever ready to meet us even in our infirmities and to encourage us by his presence when we have done all on our part to make an entire surrender to him. Heaven is open to man. God will be entreated to do these things for us. The future may seem dark before us, but God lives. Break down every barrier and let the Savior into your heart. Let self die. Surrender your will and die to self now, just now, and leave God to make your way for you.